Porous Materials Incorporated is proud to present the hollow fiber membrane making apparatus. This machine is capable of making hollow fiber polymeric membranes with outer diameters between 0.8 and 2 millimeters from any conventional polymer. The hollow fiber membrane making apparatus is provided with advanced custom made software that is simple to use while allowing for advanced precision and repeatability. Here we have a basic layout of the machine. From left to right, we have the pneumatic pump, injection nozzle, coagulation tank, drain, syringe pump, heater displays, motor pulley and hollow fiber spools, and the hollow fiber pulleys. The syringe pump is used to hold and pump the bore solution at a predetermined rate. Here we begin by filling the syringe piston cylinder. Fill the cylinder halfway with distilled water and the rest with your solvent. Make sure that the solution is mixed well before the next step. This ratio can change based on the composition of your bore solution. Now we need to secure the syringe piston cylinder onto the syringe pump. Insert the piston into the cylinder of bore solution, then place the assembly into the vise of the syringe pump and tighten accordingly. Next, secure the line from the syringe pump into the quick connect fitting on the dispensing nozzle. Make sure it is seated properly in its mounting slot. The pneumatic pump holds and pumps the polymer solution at a predetermined rate. We need to first loosen the screws around the pneumatic piston cylinder that hold it in place. Next, we will fill the pneumatic piston cylinder with our polymer solution. Carefully pour your polymer solution into the pneumatic piston cylinder. Then secure it back into place accordingly. To begin operation of the machine, first select the hollow fiber software icon. When the software opens, you will see a manual control panel on the left side of the window. From here you can control the syringe pump, regulator, pneumatic piston, motor, and the heaters. On the right hand side of the window, we can set up an automated operation, controlling aspects such as injection speed, run to length, run to time, zone temperature, and spool speed. If we navigate over to the calibration tab, we can control our calibration settings such as the pressure, the regulator, and the speed. Now we'll navigate to the settings tab where we can configure and save our syringe pump settings and connect to the machine. Now we must engage the pneumatic piston and then the syringe pump. Simply use the manual control panel to select the down arrow to begin moving the pneumatic piston down. Then we will tell the syringe pump piston to begin moving forward. After you begin to see the hollow fiber strand forming, Initiate the motor for the spool using the motor control in the software. Next, we are going to carefully feed the hollow fiber strand up through the pulleys and connect it to the spool at the end. Be sure to allow enough slack to form so that the hollow fiber strand is easily manipulated up through the pulleys. After this step, the apparatus virtually takes care of the rest. Now you can step back and watch the hollow fiber form and make its journey to the spool at the end. The amount of time it takes to complete this operation varies depending on injection speed, run to length, run to time, and spool speed. Here you can see our finished spool of hollow fiber membrane product.